Hi, I'm Charlie. And I'm Liz. And this is the Adventure Closet. And today, we've emptied out our Van Opal. And we're gonna show you what we brought with us for a van life experiment. Just wait till you see all the junk we brought. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey guys. Hello, adventurers. Hop in the back, let's go. You ready? You got the tunes? Let's do this. This is Opal. She is a 2006 uh, Chrysler Town & Country uh, Touring Edition. And we have removed all the seats except for one. Um, well, driver and passenger. And we kept one of the uh, stow and go seats so that we could have one passenger. Minus a few odds and ends, we're gonna do a quick overview of what we brought with us. Okay, are you ready for this? We fit all of this stuff in our van. <laughs> and here's a Liz for reference. And there's Liz for reference. Uh, How did we do that? And we may have overpacked. We're probably going to do another video in about a month, uh, just to say uh, what we didn't, what we found out that we didn't need. I did find one thing already. She did find one thing: the little hooks on the back of the seat that we don't even use. Two things. I thought these would become incredibly handy. You hang them on the back of your headrest. You can hang bags and stuff. No. We don't have room them. to hang bags. You need, we need the leg space. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so let's start over at this end. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. So, safety first. We have our helmets and our Cascade Hiker hat. Liz's Cascade Hiker hat. Um, we have our Reflectix for our window screens, which Liz is still working on. We have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 shoes. That's cheating and counting each one. <laughs> <laughs> Nine pairs of shoes. How about that? That's still a lot. Yeah. Uh, we have, you know, quick slip on shoes. Uh, Liz has another quick slip on shoes for shower shoes and for, um, you know, just getting out of the van without having to tie your shoes. Hiking boots, Liz's and mine. Uh, Liz's hiking shoes are Vibram five finger, five toe. Water shoes. Water shoes. And my um, my Vasks, which we're probably gonna get rid of those Vasks because uh, yeah, they're not comfortable. Uh, we justify the shoes because we're out hiking a lot and in different kinds of trains. So we really need variety. Yeah, and if our shoes get wet, we're going to need to change them. Okay, so next up we have clothing. We, we each filled a pillowcase full of clothes. Um, that big camouflage bag right there is our backpacking sleeping bags, which we're using. Uh, there's another sleeping bag right here, which we didn't actually knew, know we brought. So, oops. <laughs> Uh, coats, uh, 
blankets, sheets. Uh, this is probably gonna be our curtain between the driver's seats and the, um, the, the back cabin area, the sleeping area. I brought an extra pillow because I didn't want to use my, uh, my clothes as a pillow because I didn't want my head oils getting on them. Uh, towels, shave kit, my sleep apnea machine, which is run off our Jackery. Liz's day pack, my backpacking pack, and Liz's backpacking pack. And if you wanna know what's in our backpacking packs, you can watch uh, our what's in my bag videos. Uh, so this entire section here, plus the camera I'm holding, is camera equipment, vlogging equipment, and laptops, lenses, a drone, another drone, a camera, another GoPro, a GoPro, headphones, uh, microphones. This whole entire thing is full of charging cables and such. Uh, my big camera, other GoPro, a flash, uh, and a big tripod, and a couple little tripods, uh, big storage for files. Yeah, lots of uh, equipment for vlogging. So it's like two drones, 700 cameras, you know, whatever. It's our cleaning kit with our toilet paper and wipes kit. Uh, we have these biodegradable wipes that we got on Amazon. That is our Luggable Lou, which is a toilet. Inside there is our shower kits. And we have a battery powered shower that you can stick in a five gallon bucket or in, the, in a stream and shower with it, which we haven't tried yet. Um, but we got that just in case. Uh, this is all cooking, except for the green bag. We have a Instapot, which we use on our Jackery uh, to cook beans and rice and stuff. This is full of backpacking fuel containers and uh, our jet boil, which we make coffee out of because we actually forgot the coffee maker that we were gonna bring. <laughs> um, frying pan that's our cooler uh, this is our miscellaneous kit with spices oatmeal can openers cutting boards etc etc these are full of canned foods and pastas and rice and beans that's a French press uh, this is our 15 liters of emergency water we also have another five liters and another gallon and thermoses and such those are coffee cups, skip bow, because, you know, you might get bored. Um, this is a backup camera and car stereo that I'm going to install in the van. Eventually, I might need a drill for that. Um, that's a work in progress. And then the little box is uh, to fix the little back lock for the, the sliding door. Uh, this is rock counting stuff, hammers, chisels, um, etc. Uh, we have some classifiers, a gold pan, and some recent finds in the gold pan from another one of our videos. Uh, link that below. Um, this is our charging on the road kit. This is for the dash cam. Got some walkie talkies. Um, you know, plates, forks, stuff we need to grab on the road. This is our emergency kit. We got a jump starter, fix a flat, tow strap, extension cord, tools, WD-40, fire extinguisher, rope, a saw, um, lots of other stuff. Got some collapsible buckets just in case. Uh, this bag right here and the fly swatter are all like anti-bug stuff. Looks like there's a hand sanitizer in there as well oh man that's a lot of stuff uh and uh, all this stuff here is sitting on our bed we have a 10 by 10 screen room we have a coleman camp stove we have a full thing of uh propane extra water another bucket the, that bucket has the five liter water in we have a four foot table hammock a tent 
Uh, we have a Jackery and two solar panels and uh, partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> this is insane. Like, you know, it didn't look like as much when we were packing it all, but it is a lot of stuff. And mm -hmm. uh, we will be keeping track of what we actually use. And we'll do a video in about a month or so. Uh, it might just be a quick follow up video at the end of one of our normal videos or something yeah. um, with what we what we're sending home, what we're donating or getting rid of mm -hmm. and uh, keeping our sanity. Yeah. Once we finish <laughs> the projects on the van, we'll be able to get rid of a lot of material and stuff like all that extra reflectics. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll work it down, but I'm amazed how much stuff we fit in that van. I did not realize. Yeah, it, it's it's really a lot when you pull it all out and look at it. Mm -hmm. But I, uh, looking at it now, I don't see anything that we don't need that we aren't using. I mean, we're on the road for a long time and yeah, um, an indeterminate amount of time. Yeah, and we need all this stuff <laughs> so far. So far, yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you for watching. Uh, we hope this was informative. If you'd like more details, go ahead and ask us uh, questions in the comments. Uh, and we'll, uh, we'll answer what we brought with us in more detail if you'd like. Uh, we'll give yeah. you some links and stuff. And uh, um, if we get enough questions on all the camera gear or, you know, all the food or whatever, we'll, we'll do a short video on that as well. I'd like to hear your suggestions on sweet storage ideas. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. thought the buckets were gonna be like a super rad idea, but. We're thinking we might take stuff out of the buckets and just, you know, pile it in the back. Uh, it might give us more room because, you know, the buckets around and yeah, you know. Yeah. So yeah, uh, now we gotta load all this back in the van. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and let us know what you think. Bye, Bye. now. Bye now. <laughs>